Hey, Scotch Test Dummies, I'm Scott. Bart here. We got McAllen 12. It's been a while. We're going to look at it. Is it as good as we think? Last time we talked about it, we were also talking about a zombie apocalypse. But we're going to test it! McAllen 12 style. Bam! Actually, when I said, is it as good as we remember it, is it as good as I remember it? Because I'm more of a McAllen 12 fan than you are. I like McAllen 12, though. It's good. It's gotten a little pricey over time. Yes. We we went and visited there. They've got it makes you feel like you're underground, or at the very least, the roof is made out of earth, dome, and grass. And it was a nice, big distillery. It was big. They should put out volume, baby. Maybe they do put out volume, baby. Who knows? So we just reviewed Glendronic Portwood. Yeah. And at the end of it, I bring up how my liquor store told me that McAllen is restricting, that has to basically cut out 40% of their market temporarily because I think of supply issues. So Kansas is one of those, Kansas is in that 40% that's being cut. Flyover country, they like to say. <clears throat> so Kansas is going to see a dwindling of McAllen for a while. Dwindle. If you're a McAllen fan, pick it up before it's gone. 43%. This is still uh, uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, and the nose is great. Yeah. It's just raisin plum. Oh, yeah. Spice. A lot of spices pouring yeah. out of there. It's that dark <sighs> sherry, that Oloroso sherry notes that we like. It is. The spices are what kill me. I feel like there's a, it, it feels like a Mid-Eastern tour. I feel like I'm at a Turkish bazaar. Just saying. You could say Turkish delight, one the dessert, the little cookies. Isn't that? Is that a cookie? Could be. Turkish delight. Could it's be. like a caramel, wafer, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, all kinds of the C. S. Lewis, spices. The C. S. Lewis book with Aslan, Turkish delight is like the drug or something in that. Uh, yeah. So hmm. yeah. Very nice. Nice dark sherry notes. What is it? Lion Witch in the Wardrobe? Sorry. Never mind. Yeah, it's very good. Sorry, I know. I, know. I couldn't remember the title for a second. And boom. <laughs> I remember Aslan, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is like the lion. All right, back to this. Yes. Uh, I like the Turkish Bazaar. I feel like there's blankets everywhere and there's little spice corners and the, that the spice is wafting. Mm. It's probably yep. what I like best. Nice, dark, a little bit of char going on with the palate here. Now, this bottle's been open for a little bit, probably developed pretty good. Mm. Nice, dark sherry notes. Mm. Got a little bit of char that I haven't necessarily gotten before with McAllen 12. Nice, burnt caramels here, creme brulees, toasted yeah. vanillas. Yeah, the finish is all creme brulee. Nuttiness, nice almonds. Yeah, it's good. 43% ABV, a little bit high. I think the UK market gets this at 40% really? ABV. They bump it up for the US. That's a nice US bump. <laughs> it's tasty. Mm -hmm. This is the problem. I like it. But when you tell me how much the 12 is, because I forget, it's like a bad memory. It's like a suppressed memory of cost. Mm -hmm. Now I get a sticker shock. It's like you're slapping me in the face. Well, you don't ever remember. Or you always think back, well, 10 years ago, that was only 25 bucks. I live in the past, baby. <laughs> yeah, 10 years ago. Yeah, well, I, I could get that 1995. What's going on? <laughs> I remember 1987. That's what it cost. I was only 17 and 87, so I wasn't buying scotch. I do remember the, the this used to be $49, which was, even for a 12-year at the time, was one of the higher priced 12 years. Uh, but it's definitely up from that, even. And I mean, that was probably when we started reviewing. And the last time we reviewed this was 2013. I'll wow. guarantee it's 2013. Probably maybe first part of 2014. Mm. We were in your kitchen, you know, still filming yeah. up there. A little echo going on yeah. in the kitchen. And we talked about... You asked me a question that we'll get into later. If you were bit by a zombie, oh, what would I do? And I immediately, without hesitation, said I'd put you out of your misery. And you were like, shoot what? me in the head. Yeah, shoot you in the head quick. You wouldn't even see it coming. Like, yeah, wait. You're like, oh, can't even wait. I'm waiting on you to turn angry, start bite you. Yeah, I can't risk it. Put yeah, that's you all. Down. Put you down. That's quick. only in the movies. No, it didn't. 
you'd be a fast one. And you're a better runner than me. You can catch me. You, yeah, even I trick, now. I got a trick hit. Yeah, now. well, I'm old. Uh, you can catch me. <laughs> <laughs> so back to this. We did get to visit the mm. distillery when we were in Scotland. It's very impressive. Um, uh, you can see where a lot of the money's going, but they could hit a lot of volume there too. So, but hey, my I'm, I'm very much like the supply and demand. If the demand is there and you're making a good product and you can charge a certain amount and people are buying it for that, okay. Just means I probably can't afford it. I say McAllen does a good job of finessing the sherry. Hmm. You know, some people, it's a slap in the face sherry, the, you know, the sherry bombs, right. and we like that. That's a good point. McAllen does a, a better job. They kind of, they try to finesse it, bring out the subtle nuances, you know, let you dissect it a little. I'm with you. The creme brulee, the spice kitchen that's here, and then the rate, it's not like I go, it's like you said, it's not a hit in the face, not like I'm like raisin plum, raisin plum. It's spices and, and roasted marshmallow and toasted oak and the creme brulee and some prune and so it's many, many things, and it's very good. And, it, and I'd almost say, if I had a blind, I'd think at 46%. It doesn't feel low ABV. Yeah. Sorry, cut you off. This is a bottle I always have around. When, when I drain, I buy another. Mm -hmm. I like it, and I go to it quite often. I'll be sitting around, what do I want tonight? McAllen. Well, you even told me if you're at a bar, they usually have this on the shelf, uh, and you'll get it. That just came up a couple weeks ago when I was in Chicago. Went across the street from the hotel to a restaurant, sitting well, there, ordered, looked up. I looked at the whiskey selection. Yeah, so give me a McAllen 12. Yeah, McAllen 12. That's what I had. Yeah. Never disappoints. And then you always got to tell them, don't put ice in it because yeah. they'll kill it with a mm. bunch of ice. Mm -hmm. and you're like, geez. And then there's a there's the rule I didn't get. that If you say neat, they pour a little more in there mm -hmm. and charge you for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wow, you're pouring heavy. And they're like, no, you're paying for that extra pour. I'm like, yeah. neat just means no ice. Yeah. That means a heavy pour, too. I apparently. guess. Yeah, apparently. Um, I'm ready to score. <laughs> I'm still thinking about shooting you in the head. You're still 90. I love it. And 90, it's good. That's Aslan, it. yes. That's exactly where I was going, 90. Yeah, 90, yeah. it's very, very good. Yeah. It's, it's a great 12-year. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it disappoints. And the, the consistency from McAllen with the 12-year... For years, this has been a great whiskey. Yep. Now, McAllen is, you know, it's pricey. It's the market that they're going after. It doesn't deny that it's good whiskey. No, it's good. It's, it's still good whiskey. Sometimes it's a little pricey. Yep. So anyway, now, McAllen 12 in our market is $80. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. getting high. I it is. It's very tasty, though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like it's not, they're not too far away from pricing me out of their purchase market because... I can get great whiskey, phenomenal whiskey for less money with some different options. Does it taste like this? No, it's usually peated. <laughs> so I'm able to bandage it up pretty quick. So I'm like, I'd like to get that, but for a lot less money, I'm right there. We are using McAllen 12 in our gassing experiment as well with nice. Lafroy 10, where each year we're going, we've gassed some whiskey. Yes. We're looking at it. We bought three bottles. We've got one that's sealed for uh, control purposes. Yeah. We've got one that's been gassed, that's been, it's down, it's been gassed, and then one that's that's down but hasn't been gassed. Yeah. So we're looking at ungassed whiskeys versus gassed whiskeys. And in a couple of years, we'll probably open up the, the control bottle and see That'll be a good one. what's happened. Yeah. Cliff notes, early on, the gassing seemed to make it worse. The peated. Definitely the peated. It now, seemed. it seems over time... It, it might be helping. It might be helping else. the sherry. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll see though. I was yep. surprised. It's been educational for us. Go check that out. And in the meantime, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can pick up shirts, hats, glasses, coins, dropper sets, all kinds of stuff. Helps support the show. Keeps the lights on. Keeps the whiskey coming. Now, we've got a Patreon account. Some names have come in. We won't get to one of those or a couple of those today, but we will in the future. But you can go there. Go to Patreon. Look up Scotch Test Dummies. You can support as little as a dollar. Dollar a month, dollar a show, whatever amount you want, you can cap it, pick it, choose it, do it, do it. <laughs> scotch it, you scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Do it.